Ned's actually this very sweet, genuine, like, he's very nerdy, I guess you'd say. He's very, he's, he loves what he loves, and he loves, you know, Star Wars. He loves technology. He's super duper smart. And all he wants to do is just be like Peter's, like, you know, right hand man, sort of. Because he's sort of, he's sort of losing, like, that connection with him. And he thinks that Peter's getting too cool for him and that he needs to, like, up his game so they can, you know, be together forever, basically, because that's all he is. He's just a bro. And um, it grows over the film. It's sort of like, because our relationship, our relationship that we try to portray is that we were friends before and, like, we got together again. And so it's sort of like a, re like a reunion. I love that John takes in like an actor's perspective. He really takes suggestions. It's really, cause when creating something like this is a collaborative effort and it's a lot simpler when the actors and the director have like a clear like path or like clear, clear vision of what they, what should be. And so John really, he really hits that on the, he really hits that on the head where he, he wants to collaborate with you. And that's what I really appreciate. It was more like a like a finally moment for me. Like, I've been waiting for I've been waiting for a world where Spider Man could get into the Avenger thing, just in general, and just to have those two people really and to have like a little Chris Evans thing on on the TV monitor. You know, that's really cool. And so, I mean, it's really just like I've been waiting for this moment for a while.